Stephen, we are here at uh, Buddecom uh, Research Conference and you, st and you just spoke about uh, rural broadband uh, in uh, New Zealand. Can you talk uh, a little bit more about uh, what's happening there? Sure, Paul. In, in rural New Zealand, um, about 10% of the population live in rural New Zealand as opposed to that's uh, about 500,000 people live in, in that part of New Zealand. And for that small percentage of people that do live in New Zealand, they have a huge impact on the economy in New Zealand. About 66% of the exports come out of rural New Zealand. And that's one of the reasons why New Zealand is aiming to become an, the first organic country in the world, because they've got this huge, richly, uh, one of the world's richest markets in, in exports. And that, that obviously you know, also requires good telecommunications networks. Do they have good telecommunications networks in, in regional New Zealand? No, in uh, rural New Zealand, Paul, they, they don't have very good uh, infrastructure at all. Well, they, some of them are in the... All of New Zealand uh, is in the satellite um, footprint. Only about 10,000 subscribers have satellite. The rest of the people in New Zealand are on dial-up in rural New Zealand, uh, which is, as a farmer or an exporter, dial-up, faxing, it's still a major part of their life. So they really need to move forward to having uh, good, good quality telecommunications. And, and what's the government doing about that? The government has a rural broadband initiative and they're going to spend about $300 million over the next six to ten years upgrading the infrastructure to households and schools. And farmers? Uh, well, far, yeah, there'll be a, a fast broadband to every home in the... 97% of the homes uh, in rural New Zealand. The remaining 3% will be getting uh, fast satellite access. Uh, speeds for uh, schools will be 100 meg per second and speeds to the homes, the minimum speeds uh, will be you know, 10 meg per second. Thank you very much, Stephen. Thanks, Paul.